what is the uh, the essence? What is the message in your poetry? Uh, well, my, my poetry always comes from a Filipino experience, and so um, that's kind of interesting that I say that because I don't always like to hit people over the head with it. Um, I always tell uh, the, the, the young people that I work with is that are Filipino that regardless of what you write about, it's going to be Filipino poetry anyway uh, because you're Filipino, right? So. Um, so most of my poetry is really about the Filipino experience, it's about um, what I see in the world. It, it could be about being Filipino in Canada, it could be um, my opinion about what I'm seeing in the news about the Philippines, um, it could be my take on something new that I've learned about Filipino history, or something like that. So uh, yeah, well, usually it's about the Filipino experience. Uh, you mean the Filipino experience in Canada? A little, well, so you know, I mean, it started really started out that way, but I mean, as I've gotten older, I've been able to travel a lot to the Philippines and and stay there for a long time. Um, so you know, I I can comment on different issues that happen in the Fil are happening in the Philippines. But uh, the one thing that I always have to remember is that I'm born in Canada. I'm a Filipino born in Canada, so I'll always sort of have that Filipino Canadian point of view. And I think that's very important to preserve, you know what I mean? Because, you know, Filipinos in the Philippines or Filipinos uh, in Canada that were born in the Philippines will always have their point of view. Um, but uh, for a Filipino who is born in Canada, that's a unique point of view also. Um, you know, it has uh, a lot of vulnerability, uh, uncertainty, uh, a lot of a lot of ignorance in it. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but but ignorance in the point where um, the essence of the poetry is wanting to know more and to share more through um, conversation. Right, and so when you're performing poetry. Um, it really is a conversation between the audience and the and the poet, you know, especially this kind of poetry. I mean, it, it, there's types of poetry you read in a book, and that's really just for you. But when I perform poetry, it's really an exchange, you know. And so when I'm talking about things that are uh, Filipino issues, I expect there to be some give back for the audience. They may agree with me, and they may not agree. Um, but uh, that's the, uh, really the essence of it, is the dialogue that takes place, you know, when your spoken word poetry really has that. Thank you. You're welcome. Colored contact lenses, rose-colored glasses, passes the world off as black and white places. Wow. Yellow brown faces replaces the eyes of another. My sisters and brothers, we lose contact with color. We lose contact with culture when we color our eyes to suggest mixed exotic family ties. And why? Don't you think it's bizarre that we measure beauty by how less like us we are? Color contact lenses like smoke in a mirror, the blindfold on your vision, your grandmother's tear because the almond dark brown she passed on to you, the biological heritage you passed on to do all you can to be down with the blue eye, forgetting the true eye, make way for the new eye, why? Wouldn't you want to get rid of the eyes that cried so many times wanting to be noticed or accepted or be told that you're beautiful, to be told that your two brown eyes are beautiful just the way they are? Who you are is conflicted, just like the rest of us, telling us that the mass media messages get the best of us, telling us that the way we are isn't good enough, and that maybe life wouldn't be so tough if we altered ourselves to be down with the crowd, as if just being us doesn't make us proud. Well, I, for one, can't afford to look like a cyborg, but if you want to, well, then I get to have a wish. But I bet you still eat fish with the rice on your dish. <laughs> Elements of brown melanin still in your skin tone. Remnants of black hair still in your hair comb. The Filipino soul that cannot be erased no matter which color lens you stick to your face. That don't make you different from how you appear because I like you for the way you are. <laughs> so, forget those colored eyes and keep your contact.